YouTube. Um, today I have a QEV valve for you. Uh, it is for my air rifle. I have been working on this one like 16 hours. I had a lot of troubles with this. I originally made one uh, just by welding pipes together, but that that didn't came out so well because you cannot main maintain it. So I had broken um, uh, what it's called a seal in here. So I had to cut it open and weld it again. So yeah, it's not going to work. So this one I made out of the plumbing pipes. There's, I think these are uh, one inch pipes. Uh, and in the end here is uh, three eighths, I think. Yeah. I have these a little uh, fast uh, blocks. I don't know how you call them, but you basically block these here. They are pretty useful when doing something like this. Really handy. Now this is all glued together, and I'm not ready yet. To, uh, open it up for you but there is a lot of tutorials how to how to make one and I wanted to show, show you how mine looks well uh, main thing that is good about this is the flow in here is really big as you see this is uh, let me take the caliber here 30 um, I should be just tightened shouldn't use these for drawing lines really well actually this one is for drawing lines so let's see yeah it's 60 millimeters is the smallest gap in this system so it really gives a bunch and this is the um, test uh, barrel I had there's just some ring that came out with these nuts for uh, tightening the pipes. I have welded it in, in there and it fits right here and you can tighten the nuts over it and it stays there. Of course it's floppy and stuff but it is for test purposes. There's actually already a video where I shoot it. Uh, I think it was with the 7 bar presser and the air, ta air tank was really 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 small and the pipe was really really short but yeah uh, if you know knew, know, uh, know anything about the QEV valves I will show you how this basically works so um, this is the business end where your, your uh, barrel goes this is where your air tank goes and basically what this does is you have the same pressure in here in the back part and same pressure in the your uh, air reservoir so when you uh, push the trigger I actually have one of these um, when you push the trigger the pressure in here is lower than it's here and then it pushes the piston I have inside here to back and then it releases all the air from the tank uh, immediately in the uh, barrel so I don't know if this is a fact but I think this may even be faster than um, those magnetic valves you have which open with electricity no no don't know for sure but I could bet that it is at least this is a lot bigger than any of those I have seen but yeah enough for that it's the basic idea of this. This still leaks a little and stuff. I have to take it apart and put more um, gasket glue in there and stuff. But yeah, let me show the other parts. Now I have a little better barrel. It's exactly 1000 millimeters long, so one meter. It has the nut directly in there. So you can just screw it, screw it on. It has really nice weldings. So no leakage, but one thing is there's, you can still feel the weld bead 
for the pipe inside so this is not good at all but for now I'm shooting only stuff with a uh, little, little bit of paper or something inside the pipe and I just put a bearing ball in there or, or whatever I find. So that's the barrel I got now. Let me show my awesome uh, air tank. <laughs> this is what I came up. Yeah, it, it <laughs> looks awful. It is welded <laughs> a lot. It was actually just um, straight pipe. I cut some grooves in there with angle grinder and smashed them like this and welded. And there's, I think that is eight millimeter thick plate in here. The pipe is uh, with walls, I think it was four millimeters and this small one is with four millimeter walls also. So this, this can hold a lot of pressure. It also has the nuts to just screw in this piece for easy usage and maintenance. Oops. So assembling this is pretty straightforward. Uh, before in the test, I have a video there. I have only only this piece as an air tank. Remember if you happen to watch the video, it is only this small pipe here and seven bars of pressure. So it is pretty amazing. Now, now with this tank it gives quite a loud bang, I would say. Yep. And then to the trigger system. Let me take this off. This is actually a um, direction change valve that or actually I think this is end switch. There was a roller here before. Now it's mounted in my gun like this. So I can easily press it with finger. Uh, way it works is this one is also always closed in this position. And this is open. When it's in this state, I have the air com compressor hooked up and this lets air to go inside my um, reservoir and when I press this air passes from here and goes just away and this is then closed so I'm not wasting the air from the compressor and the way you hook up it, it in here is the one pipe is actually this is this goes to the compressor and you put this one in, or actually you put the, these two like this with the pipes. That is kind of all of it. I could use just a T and one, one of the uh, pipes, but for me this was easier because I don't have the T pieces laying around, so yep. Uh, one thing I'm planning to do is to put one, one of these, um, well, these locks, fast locks in here to make it feel a little faster. The gap between the o-ring I have made in here is pretty small so it takes some time to fill this like um, maybe 10 seconds, 5 seconds and this is semi-auto. So every time you press press the trigger, it fires and it automatically fills the tank. So that's why it's not good that there's only small gap. But the problem with uh, making this fill from here, not from here, is you cannot just put uh, hose from here to here because when you release the trigger, it will empty this and it will empty this, so it will not fire, it will just slowly empty it, so that's the problem I have. But yeah, enough for that, let's put it aside, also this. Uh, let me show you, I earlier made some test firing with the big tank, and let me tell you, that is one hell of a dent. 
this is one millimeter stainless steel so it's real a uh, little bit tougher than normal steel and the dent in here is really big uh, I shooted I believe it was a 10 millimeter bearing ball and the distance were about two meters or something there's even dents for uh, earlier tests with a short barrel on a small tank and the dent is just you can barely see it but this one <laughs> I, I bet it, it will hurt if, if shoot it uh, at somebody yeah so that is my airgun project state for now ah actually one part more uh, I'm actually making cover for this whole thing this is stainless steel brushed uh, it is meant to be that you can fit let me unscrew this it's meant to be fitted inside here and the uh, trigger uh, goes here like this so this serves as the under part of my gun it needs some polishing and shaping but the basic idea of the guard I'm going to make for it I think it's gonna be pretty neat looking but we'll see that so that's for all for today and we'll see you with next update in maybe next weekend or so so see ya